Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's a Thursday. That means the weekend is almost here, right? That's right. We're so glad you're here today. We've got a great show lined up, some fun stuff to talk about. And, uh, you know, you're going to learn something today, I promise you. Plus, we have the weather. This show gives you everything you want to know to keep your day going. That's That was good. That was good? I like that. Hey, guess what? What? Look. We don't match. We do match. All right. We match. Do the weather. Next time you can wear the flower okay. outfit, okay? Let's check out our weather. Before we talk about our region, I want to show you one cool thing and then one serious thing and then we'll talk about our weather. This is a thunderstorm that has been going since 4 a.m. over Iowa. Those little pulsations you see out of that storm gravity waves, very integral part in severe storm genesis. In fact, that is what is happening today. Widespread severe storms in the Dakotas today and as well as through the Corn Belt. So if you have any friends or family in the Dakotas down through the Corn Belt of Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, and even across the southeast from Atlanta, Georgia, down through Dothan, Alabama, out towards Jacksonville, Florida. Please just let them know a major severe day is expected today. Again, especially over the Dakotas near the James River Valley. All right, here locally, severe storms, not even a thought. We're dealing with some beautifully sunny skies. The one thing that we are dealing with is the dew points in the 70s. That's allowing for the humidity to really take over. Myrtle Beach sitting at 85 right now feels like 81 thanks to the humidity. 82 there in Georgetown feeling like 89 and even across inland locations, areas that have seen the sun a little longer than the Grand Strand because of that morning cloud bank we had. Again, those 80s feeling more like 90 plus degrees. Now, as we roll throughout the day, you will begin to notice that there is a little system that tries to roll in. This is part of that severe weather that will eventually move into Georgia, Florida, Alabama, and Mississippi. But by the time it reaches the Grand Strand, it falls apart here. So that's why we aren't expected to see severe weather, but everybody else is. You still may see a light shower or two west of that 95 corridor and north of the 20 corridor today. Clouds overnight giving way to beautiful, partly sunny to mostly sunny conditions tomorrow morning. And then a couple of light showers from the sea breeze tomorrow afternoon. Daytime highs today 90 to 96, feeling like anywhere from 103 to 105 to as much as 106 there in Georgetown. We will continue to keep that sea breeze going for the rest of the week. The only exception Sunday looks like the atmosphere may be just a tad bit too dry to even include a 20% chance. But even then, 20% is not big enough. Many locations will still be dry across the area. Your Independence Day looking all right for the most part. We'll continue to keep an eye on what might be a little bit of a system that tries to approach the region, but we've got seven days to watch that. Just get ready for the heat and humidity. And welcome back, everybody. All right, we got to talk about something that yesterday you know, uh -huh. it was decide to be married day. Yes. Now, I kind of made a little smirk about, you know, about that. But I just want everybody to know that I did not mean anything by it because I'm already married to the sweetest, most talented and beautiful woman in the world. Yes, she I is just wanted I just wanted everybody to know that because that was a little smirky that I should not have done yesterday. Yeah. Brandon, I appreciate the close-up. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Let's this keep show. going. Let's talk about your clothing. All right, let's talk about the, the haberdashery in Conway has just, uh, you know, has just completed having the Coastal Carolina teal blazers made, and they're now available. The entire process took two years. They had to find the fabric and get CCU's approval of the dye color. Now this is a year-round tropical weight, 100% wool blazer. Look at the buttons. They're embossed with the CCU crest, and this great it's a great graduation gift. And uh, of course, if you're out in a business meeting and you're an alumni or something, would you not look great in one of those? 
Check them out. Haberdashery is the only place you're going to be able to find them right there. You know what would be neat if, so, if some of the jacket. yeah, if some of you know the sports teams had them. Can you imagine yeah. if all the baseball team had Boy, those would they jackets? Not look great? It'd be Ooh, fantastic. I'm talking about it. Okay. All right, let's talk about today. Today is Thursday, June the 28th, and this is Handshake Day. Hey, buddy. And this is a uh, let's see, is Deaf and Blindness Awareness Week. All right. So take a take note on that. Let's do birthdays today. Let's go back to 1926. You're talking about a wild and crazy guy, Mel Brooks. The man is 92 years old. Now he directed uh, the classics like Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, and uh, Tights, Spaceballs, Robin Hood, Men in you know, Men in Tights. Uh, Men yeah, in that's tight. yeah, that's, that's it. I messed up on that one. And uh, he's got, he's won Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award. Wow, fantastic! All right, 1960, John Elway, 59 years old, legendary Denver Broncos quarterback, inducted into the Football Hall of Fame in 2004. Super Bowl bowl victories in 1998 and 1999. 1966, John Cusack, uh, 52 years old, a lot of movies. So one of them was 16 Candles, High Fidelity, Con Air was a good one, Martian Kid, and The Raven. All, All right. right, talking about today in history. Today in history, 1975, David Bowie's fame was released. And in 1996, the Citadel voted to admit women. Ending a 153-year-old uh, men-only policy at the South Carolina Military School. Fantastic. All right, all right. from the know it all apartment where you learn something every day. All right. Go. I do not go into water. Everybody knows this because of sharks. <laughs> <laughs> but listen to this. You're more likely to die from falling coconuts than a shark attack. So you're probably this is worldwide. Hold on, They're talking, hold on, yeah. hold on. So you're probably actually yeah. gonna die before I do because yeah. I go swimming and you sit under the tree. Yeah, the coconut tree and it hits me in the head. All right. Don't oh. go under the coconut tree. Survival of the fittest right now. <laughs> That's it from from the uh no yeah, all department. No all department. I forgot what I was doing. Y'all got me shook oh, up. Hey, we got a great boy. show lined up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back, Kind Keepers Animal Rescue, a no-kill shelter lo uh, located up in North Myrtle Beach. Today, Nancy has brought somebody with her. That's Samantha. Right. Samantha, this is actually yeah. her granddaughter and the youngest volunteer over youngest there at volunteer. Kind Keeper. Nancy, first of all, let's um, talk a little bit about Kind Keeper, what you guys, who you brought today. Hi, baby. We and then we're going to let Samantha introduce the kids. Yeah. Okay. How about that? This is Joey. <laughs> We, we got her and four months old, kind of skittish, yeah. just needs a lot of loving. Okay. Um, been there about a month, right. so we're looking for someone to come and, and adopt her All right. or foster, yeah. doesn't matter. All right. Yeah. Is I mean, she ready for adoption? She's ready for adoption, okay. yes. Yeah, that's, and that's the thing too, at four months old you can completely um, get her to be a, a totally different dog. She yes. may be scared right now, but that's really, uh, that's a young that's age. That's a young age sure. and starting from scratch basically. All right. And in a loving family, that would be great. All right, Samantha, you this, got a wild one on your hands. Tell us who you got. <laughs> who is this, this is Frank. Frank. Frank, Frank the cat. <laughs> so yeah. my we, little boy wants a cat so, so badly. Frank, <laughs> you might come home with All right. me. We have eight kittens. Eight okay. kittens. We have and 16 puppies Okay. and about nine dogs there. <laughs> Now so this is great. Down. You're always looking for volunteers. And Samantha's the youngest one, so youngest one. You know, you can be a young volunteer, an older volunteer. Doesn't matter. I mean, my husband volunteers, and he's older than she is significantly. <laughs> so, and then she's the youngest, and she does right. all the kitties. So. Just and, and just need a parent to accompany them yeah. if, they're if they're under, under you know, 16. 16. Yes. Okay. Now um, we had a picture, an update about Max. We want yes. to talk about Max. We're going to pop that up there. You guys remember Max? He's the one that had the little, um, the hip problem, the right? The hip problem. Had no um, 
no knees and no ankles That's in right. the back. So we got a cart from them from Minnes I believe Wisconsin. Right. And we found a family to adopt. Wow. Fantastic. And the the mommy is a previous um, vet, and she just uh, she really? knows exactly what to do. Wow. Vet tech. That I is, should that say. Is That's so pretty good. incredible. And so good. We saw her. We saw Max on Saturday. The picture came from Saturday. Smiling, happy. That dog was smiling. That's that awesome. Is, that is. And and you know, and that's the best part. You gave him a chance, and that's what you guys do at Conkeeper. You're a no kill animal shelter. We keep so them until there's a that, perfect yep. story. Yes. for you yeah. right there. Exactly. And, and Samantha, you like the cats a lot, huh? Is I that love it? cats. What all do you do for cats? You I feed eat, them. I feed them. I play with them. I. And one time a year, I changed the litter. I don't like the litter. <laughs> she doesn't like the litter. <laughs> I love oh, that. Well, I love it. That's great. Well, we appreciate y'all both coming. And uh, anybody wanting to get in touch with you, is there a website? Website at www.kindkeeper.org. Great. And we're going to be at Riverfest this weekend on Saturday. Oh, so fantastic. Okay. Come by and see us. All right. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank y'all. Thanks, All Samantha. Right. <laughs> All right. We've got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. The following is paid for by A Oak Farms. Hey everybody, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Talking about A Oak Farms, the best place to go to find flowers or have your business or home decorated. That's right. This lady can do everything. She can design whatever you want to put around with flowers. That's right. She can come to your house if you don't know what you want to do and she'll tell you what you need to do. We just had a discussion right. about my hydrangea and clearly I'm doing it wrong because it's dying. So, <laughs> That's right. now Amy, I know what to do. <laughs> Try it. That's Tell right. us a little bit about A Oak Farms, what you guys yeah. do and uh, what, you know, what's coming up for you. Well, we're still actually planting summer. Really? People, yes. Containers, beds, railing planters. That's still 
wide open. And wow. It's so hot. So oh. it's so hot. It's what'd so you have hot. to do? What did you have to do today? You said you had to have how many? Seventy-two rallying planters for pools at resorts. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow. Well, that's yeah, a lot of work. So now you're looking at some flowers here. Now these are arrangements you can put in businesses, your home, anywhere. Yes. Uh huh. And those are actually artificial. And that. And those that are. Bed. Correct. Uh -huh. Okay, so you do live and artificial. We do. Well. We do it all. You do it all. I like that. If it makes you happy. We do it. Now, Fourth of July, are businesses decorating for that? Does that have anything Not to do really. with you guys much? No. Okay, just nope. making sure their flowers are. They just put flags and everything. Yes, they just. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, we got a, we got a lot of flowers all through the station. They're all real. That's yes. right. And the signs say there's a couple of signs on them. Amy says, Cecil, do not touch. Uh -huh. Do not touch. I, yeah. She might she add my name to that very, yeah. very soon. Uh, my point that says, do not talk. Do, do not, not talk. talk. I love to talk to them. I, I walk by and talk to them. I say I good morning, and you wouldn't believe it. Sometimes they speak to you. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, so anyway, wonderful. Amy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've got other issues. So anyway, no, and so AO Farms, um, if I call you in a business and I say, you know what, we need a revamp. I don't know what to do here. What is the first step you're going to do? I'll schedule an appointment with you. We'll come out. We'll look at the environment. We'll look at your colors. What your thoughts are? I'll come up your with budget. designs. Budget's always good. Budget's always a good thing. That's right. <laughs> I like open yeah. budgets. No. Yes. yes. Well, you know, right now we got less than six months before Christmas. Shh. Just thought I'd tell you that. I and, know. Uh, y'all do this Christmas thing. Tell them what y'all do. We come out. We design your Christmas. We bring it in and put it up. And we come back. Take it down and take it away. And all you have to do is enjoy it. Yep. And pay for it. And that's pay for okay. it. Yeah, that's good. Good. Yeah. And pay but, for but, it. But totally worth it. And yeah. even, um, you know, mm -hmm. really worth it for businesses to be able to yes. do that mm -hmm. and for you to come in and do the design. But as well as people, you know, residents, I think that would be really neat. Yes. Because each year it could be different or it could be the same. We, we like to do a three year lease so that right. basically you run it for three years and after three years yeah. we come in with all new colors designs new things and we start over so you're Very not cool. looking at the same thing all right year so summer year. is yep. here it is hot and it's almost yes. over but christmas is on its way so you guys never slow down no we do not and then we'll have our fall plantains because you'll have mums in september that's right okay and then october you're going to winter plants. all right tell them where you're located real quick robert grissom parkway that's it go thanks see her. i appreciate it thanks all right we'll be right back And welcome back to Carolina Company Live. All right, Florence After Five is providing free entertainment in downtown Florence. They've done a lot of redeveloping down in downtown Florence, too. It's beautiful down there. That's right. And uh, Ray's with us. Talk a little bit about what's coming up. That's right. You guys started back in April. It runs all through October, so the fall time's going to be really great for right. you as well. Let's talk about um, After Five and what you guys have to offer. Well, it's the final Friday of every month, uh, so it's tomorrow, okay. as a matter of fact. Uh, it's hard to believe we're in the final Friday of June, but we are. <laughs> and we've got, we usually don't book the same band two years in a row, but this band has been so popular. It's the Classic Rock Experience featuring Midnight Express. They're out of Ohio. Oh. And for those people who grew up in the 70s, they do all of the 70s, Led Zeppelin, Boston, oh. Sticks, the whole nine yards, along with some of the older stuff and newer stuff. Uh, but it's a great show. and. Uh, Florence After Five gets underway at 5.30 in the 100 block of South Dargan Street, and the band actually takes the stage at 6 o'clock. We've got food vendors, we've got soft drinks, we've got beer, we've got wine, we've got good times for everybody, and admission's free. And, and you block the road off, and everything's good, yeah. and you got a yeah. whole crowd of people That's in there, and they right. love it. 
couple That's thousand right. of my closest friends show up <laughs> every month, and it's yeah. a great time. I mean, just by that video, it looks like yeah. a fantastic time. Now, do people need to do anything or just show up? Just show up. If you want to sit, you do need to bring a folding chair. We don't have chairs, but a lot of people just stand and socialize with friends and neighbors, uh, but we welcome for people to bring bring chairs. All right, how about coolers and all? No coolers. No coolers. No coolers we, we've got allowed. everything you need. We've got food. we got drinks. You don't need to bring your coolers, and we don't want you to bring your coolers. That's right. Don't want you. And, and they need to take a look walk downtown to look at what's happened down absolutely there. in That's the past amazing. five years we've had a hundred and eighty million dollars worth of new investment oh in downtown Florence and it's uh, really great we're up to 13 restaurants and four more going to open in the next six months That's awesome. uh, more retail so we we invite people to now, come, come experience downtown Florence and now you're running into having enough parking for all of that it's yeah. just amazing well we just built a parking garage yeah. and that has helped and now we're getting ready to do another parking garage so those are good <laughs> problems to have I love seeing revitalizations of old downtown Downtown, you know, historic yeah, it's um, beautiful areas, down there. and more really and more is. people are doing that. So, great job to you guys for doing that and really getting people back involved in the community. All well, right, well, we appreciate. You. It. Where are you from originally? I am originally from West Virginia, then went to Ohio, and then came to South Carolina. You but brought, I, I've been here longer than I lived anyplace else, so I'm no longer a Yankee. <laughs> That's You're right. a Carolinian. That's, That's right. it. We'll, we'll, right. we'll take it for Ray, sure. Ray, thanks for being with us. We Thank appreciate you. It. Keep in touch with us. Things going on in your area. Let us know about it. Okay? We'll do that. All great. Right. Tomorrow after tomorrow five. night. After five. That's right. That's right. Be there, downtown Florence. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Talking about the Riverfest celebration on Riverfront Park. It's going to be on June the 30th, 11 a.m. This is a huge celebration right there in Conway. That's right, coming up Saturday and we got Harley with us now. This is a big event. Y'all have so much packed into this. Yes, yeah, we tell, do. Tell us about it. Okay, well, like you said, starting at 11 a.m. on Saturday, June 30th, um, we'll have our opening ceremonies um, on the family stage on Elm Street. And then from then on, it is just fun, fun, fun. We've got live entertainment, local entertainment. Um, Atlanta Rhythm Section is our headliner on the main stage yeah, at that's 8 o'clock. They sound great. They're um, good. We have a kids zone that has tons of activities for them. Um, so bring them out. We want the family to come out, the whole entire family. Um, we've got food vendors, arts and crafts vendors, business expo, um, just 
We have a camel. A, one. Ooh, camel. a camel. Right. If you can think of it, it's going to be there. Really? That's yes. Awesome. All the fun stuff. All right, that's oh, going to be yes. that's going to be great. Now, right, now y'all add a little more to this every year. Y'all make it a little bigger. We every try year. to. Um, so this year we have over a hundred vendors, which we're really excited about, and um, they're still coming in actually. So. So that's food uh, and craft. <laughs> um, food, arts and crafts, and the business expo. So. Wow. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, now, what is this? It looks is that like a parade? parade. Yeah, so we have a golf cart parade. It runs at 11:15. It's right after our opening ceremonies, and um, it's just a, it's it's free to enter your golf cart, and we want you to decorate and be a, the most patriotic you can be. We give out awards um, and trophies for that. It's just a fun little thing to get the community involved and get more participation from uh, the locals. So, if they want to get in the golf cart, just be there that day early. Yeah, be there that day. Um, we're lining up at 11 o'clock uh, Saturday morning at the Conway Chamber office, actually, yeah. and okay. then you'll be escorted down. So that's a really fun event. A lot of Absolutely. area blocked off where you got a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah so actually Elm Street, um, and this is the first year we were doing it like this, so Elm Street, if you're familiar with downtown yeah. Conway, from the railroad tracks at the Cypress Inn back to the marina is going to be blocked off, and we've never yeah. done it like this before. Wow. So we're really excited. be a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah, All awesome. right, Conway, the place to be. It's uh, celebrating uh, Riverfest. That's it's right. Be cool. Last minute, anybody want to get in to be a vendor? Can they do that? Or are you guys all full? As um, no, we're still taking applications. Um, <laughs> so bring them in. And uh, don't forget, we do have uh, fireworks at 930. Wow. Awesome. To end the night. Thanks, Harley. Thanks for Thank Appreciate you. you. Thank all you. All right. Stick around. We'll be right back. What do you look for when you want something entertaining, informative, and lots of fun? Carolina & Company Live with Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. This show keeps you informed of everything happening along the Grand Strand. PD and Porterville. Tired of watching the same old, same old every day? Why not tune in to Carolina & Company Live? A show that's just plain fun. Hollywood! <laughs> Weekdays at noon on WPDE ABC 15. everybody welcome back hope you enjoyed today's show lots going on especially for the fourth of july going to be talking about some more of that tomorrow with the boat parade that's happening in merle's yep. inlet all kinds of stuff so you can go out with the family celebrate and just have a really good that's time. right that's what this show is all about we let you know about everything that's going on where you can be a part of it and if you want to be a part of this show all you got to do is contact us here at the station and we'll work it out that's right that's right we Cecil's have a lot cell of phone number is just kidding <laughs> yeah, just shoot us an email call calling us, the that's right call the station you can be on our show to promote your business or your fundraiser yeah. Nonprofit event. We would That's love right. to have you. Thank you so much. Tomorrow's Friday. The weekend looks pretty good. Thank. You. We'll see you then. See ya. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees.